research areas in wind power forecasting. Specifically, it's like weather forecasting, um, but for the wind and for wind power generation in wind farms. And uh, we want to know how much power we're going to produce in the next 24 hours for issues like managing power system security and also because wind power fluctuations can affect electricity market prices. It's about education really. Uh, wind power forecasting has in some areas of the world has become commercial um, very quickly but there's still a lot more research that needs to be done so it's, it's, it's keeping, keeping those two talking to each other and, uh, and the ongoing challenge I think with most uh, research areas is to uh, is to have a constant stream of funding so that you can uh, keep going without, without being tempted to, to just join the industry or do something else. <laughs> I have a one year postdoc um, full time research project this year but it's funded by industry um, which is the Australian Energy Market Operator and uh, this is the really exciting part of my research to, uh, to now engage every fortnight actually in, in meetings with the, um, with the, uh, the company and, uh, and working very closely to, develop, to um, deliver them a, a prototype forecast tool at the end of the year which they're going to test out and decide if they want to make it operational in the, in the power system control room for the eastern states of Australia. Some of my colleagues uh, had have graduated from their PhDs, so working with consulting companies um, and, uh, and others are working for wind power uh, developers and yeah, they get to do some, some interesting projects uh, with a, a different flavour of course to, to them. I guess you have more flexibility in research. This is the place where the opportunities were for my area, that's why I'm here. Um, but at the moment I, I enjoy the, the social atmosphere of, of the department which has um, really grown I think over the last year or so and um, uh, the highlight was a staff versus student cricket match that we had in February this year which was lots of fun and to be able to have access to the lovely village green at the university with an electronic scoreboard and of course a um, sponsored barbecue in the middle and it just, it just uh, has changed the feeling around the halls here now. I, I can, I pass um, the academics and the students and I know a lot of their names and can say hi. Well, engineering, there are no bounds really. Uh, it's the degree itself, a bachelor degree is uh, fairly hard and there's a lot of work, but, um, but once you get through that, you've got a very good solid grounding of uh, skills and knowledge to take into whatever direction you, you would like to. And, uh, and you can still change your mind after that as well. So, and do something else because there are many options. Um, but it's about, engineering is about um, building a better world, whatever that is for you.